guys, it's me and today I am here with a new reaction video for you guys. I know it has been a hot minute since I posted on here. It's been like two weeks, I think. I had filmed some reaction videos, didn't like how any of them turned out. And then I was like, let's do some commentary videos and whatnot. Let's start getting into that. And once I started like prepping and making preparations to make those kinds of videos, I encountered some health issues again. Hi, hello. I am nearly 28 years old and I have sciatica. On Monday I'll be free, I won't be busy, so I can do my commentary videos then, which I'm hoping to do one on like um, bands that ha bands and artists that have changed or switched or do multiple genres within the music world and everything, particularly centered around metal bands and everything, because you all know me, I'm, I'm a metalhead. People within the metal scene doing things that are more than just metal music, let's talk about it. Because of the fact that it's Pride Month, I do want to touch on like queer people within the metal scene again here on this channel, and then not only that, but I also want to touch on men that I find within the metal scene to be very, very attractive because for one, I'm gay as fuck. Two, it's Pride Month. And three, Father's Day's coming up. Gotta show some love to my metal daddies, Hey, God, I hate myself. But an artist that could potentially make it onto that list of artists that perform in more than just metal music that could possibly make it on there. I'm still debating on whether if I want to include her on there or not because she does make metal music, yes, but she does classical music, but it's not too far off from what she already does, as we will see from this video, and that is Marcella Bovio, because bitch, bitch, stream of passion are making a comeback. Now, I don't know if this is like a legit comeback or if it's just like a reunion type of thing. I don't know. The fangirl in me is hoping that this is like a legit comeback because Stream of Passion have been one of my favorite bands for years. Like they've made it into like, okay, this is like solid contender for like top 10 favorites, maybe even top five favorites back in like, I'd say like maybe like 2015 and then 2016 happened. Memento happened and then they left. Like, their one and only time that they came to the U.S. to perform, they performed at Prague Power USA, which happens here in Atlanta. But I was a broke-ass bitch back in those days and couldn't afford to go. So needless to say, I was bummed the fuck out. But I am so hyped for this. I have only have heard but the initial snippet, like the first snippet that they released, like teaser that they put on Instagram. I'm super excited about this. Oh my god, like I have... You guys have no idea how excited I am for this. I screamed, like audibly screamed when I heard that they were making a comeback several months ago. I am so excited for this. I am so, so excited for this. I cannot wait for this EP to come out in September. I'm wondering if they have any information on it um, in the description box. Okay, so... It is coming off of their upcoming EP, The Beautiful Warrior, which the pre-order is available up on the Stream of Passion website. Do they have a date anywhere? It's gonna be released September 9th. And it's gonna be released digitally and physically. And I wanna say they have a show coming up in mid-September. I think, no, they have two shows coming up in mid-September because the initial date that they had sold out almost instantly like it sold out within a couple of days that so they created a second date for it and that one sold out too and obviously it's being held in the netherlands which i cannot go to because again broke ass bitch <laughs> so i'm very bummed about that because again one of my favorites marcella is absolutely wonderful and is a big inspiration and influence for me being a singer and with me like testing my range of a singer as well and everything because I've started like within like the last several months like really expanding upon my range and getting more comfortable with my higher register and being more confident with being a contramezzo so yeah anyways enough of me rambling I've been going on for 12 minutes now and we still haven't gotten into this reaction video. Let's do this thing. But before we do that, though, a bird has to chirp. 
very loudly. But before we dive on into this, if you guys are new here to my channel, don't forget to hit subscribe and also while you're down there, definitely give this video a thumbs up because that'll help me out a lot. All my links are in the description box below, which are links to my Twitter, Instagram, and my beauty, fashion, lifestyle channel, which if you want to see me do this little look that I got going on in my face right now, that video is up on that channel now. So again, go peep that if you are interested representing another Dutch artist on my eyes today. I used the Nikki Tutorials x Beauty Bay palette. Let's dive on into this. I am so happy. I am so excited. Rings. You came in like a storm, ravenous, thunderous. Will you grab me by the throat? I just fell under your spell. The chant was deafening, and we are heavily centered with desire. Like the strings and the keys, I just, oh, it's so wonderful having them back. Oh. Again, I hope that this is like a legit comeback and not just a reunion.
I'm so happy. You can tell that it has like every bit of them from like the very beginning up until where they left off at a more of her own, but are also like expanding upon that and it's just, oh, I'm so excited. I'm so happy. If you see a gnat flying around, I apologize. I'm having an issue right now with bugs or at least gnats and everything. Excuse that. Just focus on me being like a mushy gushy little queer mess and everything. But oh, you guys don't understand like how big of a deal this is for me. Seven years ago, we all thought that this band was just gonna be like how many other bands have done in the past where they just leave the scene and everything. Like they're like, it's time to move on to other things. And in a lot of cases, they don't make comeback. But here we have one of those bands that decided to leave, come back, that were just like so big, so influential. And it's just so amazing that they're finally coming back and whatnot. Like there are a few other projects and artists that are making comebacks this year. Like I know Deanna Hazran made her comeback into the metal scene, well the symphonic metal scene I should say, in this year with the release of After the Storm, which she's still working on her upcoming album and everything. So like, I'm very excited about that project. And then you have Trail of Tears, which they have their new album coming out soon. I don't know when it's supposed to be coming out, but it's supposed to come out sometime this year, or at least it should be coming out sometime this year. Elysian made a comeback, which Barrier Dead is one of my favorite albums so far this year. It's such a stunning release. The Foreshadowing even dropped a new EP this year after not having put out anything for a very, very long time. Like, this is like the year of comebacks for a lot of artists and I am just so thrilled and over the moon about it. Hell, even Rebecca Black put out her debut solo album this year. Like, come the fuck on. Like, this is the year of the comeback, the return. Butcher Babies are coming out with a new album and they haven't put out a full length album since I think Taken Like a Man, and that was like, when, like 2016, 2017, something like that? We're already like halfway into the year and so many amazing things have come out within the music world and I am just so thrilled and excited to be witnessing it all happen. But this was The Hunter from Stream of Passion. What did you guys think about it? I thought that this song was absolutely stunning. A great way for them to make a comeback, a perfect single to like just to reinvigorate like the fan base that they had created all those many years ago and just bring them back out of the woodwork and then to also bring in new people and also the music video was shot so wonderfully oh my god it, that was a beautiful video beautifully shot and just wonderful direction also i really like the lighting i really like the lighting of the video too like like, I don't know what they did for like the editing and like the filters that they used and whatnot for it, but it looks wonderful. And Johan and Marcella and the scenes that they're together with each other with like the makeups and whatnot, stunning. Absolutely stunning. But what did you guys think about it? Let me know in the comments below. And also while I'm down there, let me know so what songs and videos I should react to next. I'll be sure to get to them as soon as I possibly can. But until I see you guys in my next video, whenever that might be, goodbye.